Hello and welcome to What The Math. Today we're starting chapter 5, Sequences and Series. This is a pretty simple topic, but it's actually uses, it uses a lot of big words that might confuse you. So we're going to actually start with something really simple. What is sequences? What is number series? And what is this all about? And I think the easiest way to explain what sequences and series is, is to give you an example. Here's an example that I just came up with. 1, 4, 7, 10, 13. Try to figure out what's going on here. I'll give you a second and pause your video and try to figure it out. Did you pause it? Pause it. All right, and as you've probably figured out, uh, basically this is a number that has a sequence of plus three. So essentially, the pattern here is that um, for every previous number, you add plus three. And really, that's what this topic is about. It's essentially, it's trying to figure out the patterns. And really, there's like three important steps that we have to learn in this chapter. And they are very, very simple. First, first step is, well, essentially, you have to figure out what the pattern is. So one is find the pattern in the numbers. Find the pattern. And the step number two here is describe this pattern. So, you know, try to figure out what is this pattern? What is going on with these numbers? Uh, describe it in words, describe it in mathematical terms. Describe a pattern. And the last step, and that's the important step, that's usually where your marks will be coming from, is continue the pattern. Or essentially, find the number um, that is somewhere uh, in this in this sequence, but that's some, somewhere that is not shown to you. So for example, uh, one of the questions in this in this particular example might be, you know, now find the tenth number. So you know, find the number that is tenth in this sequence. And you know, to find this number, you would have to uh, realize that this is, uh, you know, you had plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three, and the first number right here is one. So you would have to find some kind of a function or some kind of a mathematical representation that will help you to find the tenth number. In mathematical terms, it would be actually written like this. It would be u ten equals unknown question mark so we have to find the tenth number and to find this unknown number we have to figure out the pattern and the pattern can also be written mathematically as well you can say un which is the nth number equals two equals to what well we know that it increases by three for every number so for every n for every n we get plus three so essentially essentially this would be written as three n except that we actually don't start at zero. So if it's 3n, the second number should be 6. So the second number right here should be 6. The third number, 3 times 3 is 9, this number should be 9. And the fourth number should be 12. But it's not, it's actually 2 less. So uh, this can be written as 3n minus 2, minus 2. So um, you can find the nth number by looking at this pattern right here. And so let's find the 10th number. And the 10th number here, basically u10, is going to be equal to three times 10 minus two, which should be equal to 28, 28. So the 10th number in this sequence will be 28. And let's just check this, see if we're right. So the next number here is 16, then it's 19, then it's 22. 25 and 28. So that's 28, 28. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 28, 28. And that's really the mathematical way of finding out patterns. And the reason I used U is because it's actually, you'll see, you'll see this a lot on your tests as well. Um, in uh, sequences, we like to use the letter U for, to represent the sequence. Um, so anyway, let's uh, look at some more examples and some more definitions that you need to know for this chapter. The most important term that you do have to know in this particular chapter is this letter. It can actually, it doesn't have to be you, it can be actually any letter, but on the test you'll most likely see you. And this is called general term or also known as the, um, the nth term, the nth term. And basically, on your exam, you'll probably see, um, you know, a question about nth term or general term. Just know that it refers to this um, idea of have, finding number um, at n sequence. So basically, you're looking for this number at the n sequence, and this is called general term. And also, just to clarify, n here is a whole number. So n is here uh, is one, two, three, four, five. 
so it cannot be a fraction and it's basically it shows you which number in sequence this is so um, u5 means that this is going to be the fifth fifth term number five and the other two important terms that you have to know are we're going to actually examine them in more detail but one of them is called arithmetic sequence arithmetic sequence and the other is called geometric sequence and these are the terms that you have to understand and differentiate because yeah they actually mean a slightly different thing uh, but they really have nothing to do with geometry or arithmetics because this is just a name um, in a nutshell and we'll, we'll examine this in more detail but in a nutshell arithmetic sequence is a pattern that we just investigated it's where you add add a number to uh, to uh, to make a pattern uh, add a number and a number to make a pattern um, so in other words um, well let's actually look at the most famous um, at the most famous arithmetic sequence and that would be Fibonacci sequence that uh, you really should google up if you have not ever heard of it Fibonacci was an Italian guy from um, from Pisa that's where the Tower of Pisa is uh, you know the tower that's kind of slanted that's that's the city where he's from he lived in the 12th century and um, he came up with this pretty cool sequence of numbers that sort of goes kind of like this so it starts this way 0 1 1 2 3 now can you figure out what's going on here yet uh, you, you, if you have not heard of this uh, before, it's actually pretty cool. You Google it up, um, you'll see or you'll find out some amazing things about this sequence. It's actually everywhere in nature. It's a very, very common pattern. You will see it almost everywhere in nature, including your own body, actually. But it, it is basically um, what you do is you add two previous numbers to get a number. So 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1 gives you 1, 1 plus 1 gives you 2. 1 plus 2 gives you 3, 2 plus 3 will give you 5, 5 plus 3 will give you 8, 8 plus 5 will give you 13, 13 plus 8 will give you 21, and so on ad infinitum. Uh, so here, this is the sequence that where you add a previous number, so it's, it's sort of an arithmetic sequence because you add a number, but at the same time it's not a true arithmetic sequence because it's not the same number, it's the number that always changes. Um, uh, but nevertheless, it is an arithmetic sequence because you add a number. Um, then there is a geometric sequence and this is different because here you don't add a number you multiply you multiply by a number so that's really the only difference is that instead of adding you multiply by a number a same the same, same number obviously uh, to make a pattern to make a pattern so let me just show you an example very quickly I think the easiest example I would come up with is just you know one three nine one seven and you can probably guess the next number is going to be 81 because here we are multiplying by three multiplying by three multiplying by three and this is an example of geometric sequence um so yeah essentially this is really the these are the only terms you have to kind of remember and differentiate so arithmetic sequence is where you add a number and it creates a pattern and geometric sequence is where you multiply by a number to create a sequence now we're going to do a little bit more um, of this in more detail in the next video but just for now remember the these terms and remember the differences all right thank you for watching and good luck to you bye bye